In this video, we're going to decide if the LEGO Star Wars First Order Star Destroyer, set number 75190, is worth the money. Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to Hobby Bricks. My name is Chris, and if you're new here and you like talking about LEGO, consider subscribing. So, as I said in the beginning, we're going to review this First Order Star Destroyer. This is set number 75190. It's recommended for ages 9 to 14. It comes with five minifigures, and it retails for $159.99. So, uh, it's a really big ship, obviously. Uh, I can't get it, the whole thing in the frame. So, I think what we'll do is we'll take a look at the minifigures first, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the ship. Then we'll come to a decision, and you guys can let me know what you think. So let's get into it. All right, so here is Snoke. As you can see, he's a pretty ugly looking guy. They do a pretty good job of capturing all the scars on him. And as I, I think I mentioned in another video, <clears throat> it's kind of pretty violent for Lego. You can see all the scarring on his face. He's got some scarring on the back of his head there. You can even see the scarring on his chest some. What the what the costume is he's wearing, I, I don't really know. We haven't seen him yet. So this is kind of, you know, foreshadowing, I guess, of what we're going to get in the movie. I don't know why he's in gold, but he's, you know, cool little minifigure. I like him. Actually, I, I like him quite a lot, to be honest. I really like the blue eyes. But he doesn't come with any kind of weapon or anything, so it's just this. All right, so here is our first order shuttle pilot. Pretty boring minifigure, actually. Not much detail work there on his torso. No real print work anywhere. Um, the one cool thing he does have, I really dig the helmet. I think that helmet's really cool. I don't think I've seen that that helmet style before. He has, you know, the microphone coming down the side, kind of standard. We've seen that with some other pilots. Their secondary face. But I just really think that helmet is cool. So he's got that going for him. Here is our first order officer. Uh, this is the same officer we've gotten with one of the other sets in this wave. And it's also very similar to the officer that we got with the battle pack, except he was all in blue. This guy's all in gray. I like the little emblem up on the helmet, or on the hat. And the face, I don't really quite get the face. Uh, to me, his face is a little bit weird. Um, the eyes especially, he almost looks zombified. But he's got pretty good detailing on his torso. Nothing else real special. So that's our first order officer. Alright, here is our first order stormtrooper. Again, like every other Stormtrooper we've ever gotten in any of our sets, it's the same one. And he does have angry clone face. Uh, luckily, though, none of these guys come with stud, stud shooters, so that's something. But this is just a pretty boring Stormtrooper. All right, here is our second Stormtrooper. Almost as boring as all the other ones, except he is referred to as a sergeant because he does have a white shoulder cauldron there. But that's it. That's the only difference. You get to pick which one you want to be the sergeant. So I gave him a promotion. He gets to be the sergeant. And he has angry clone face as well. But torso, leg printing, all the same. They're all the same as all of them. So there's no difference whatsoever. Oh, excuse me. All right. So here is our BB-9E unit. This is the bad version, I guess, of BB-8. Same exact one that we got with Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. Printing is all the same. There is no real difference. And that's pretty much all there is about this guy. And lastly, this is just a little droid build that you get. There's nothing special about him or anything. It's just a little build. doesn't even include it on the front of the box. Very similar to the 
droid that we built with the Darth Vader transformation set. So I just thought I'd put him on here. All right, guys. So here's our Star Destroyer. This is 1,416 pieces big. It's a nice, it's a nice shuttle. I'll definitely give it that. There are some things about this though that I do not like, but as you can see, it's quite large. From the beginning, you could see it next to a minifigure and how big it is next to a minifigure. But there's, there's a little reference point for how big this thing actually is. We do get a carry handle. So just like with most of Lego's big, we do get a carry handle. So it's pretty light. It's not too heavy. I don't think, uh, you know, in the age group 9 to 14, I don't think they would have too hard of a time carrying it. We do get to open this thing up. And as you can see, it opens up pretty nicely there. There is no real way for Lego to hide all the undersides of all of the Lego pieces. But I don't think it looks horrible. It's actually not too bad with the black. The, the biggest probably eyesores would be the Technic pins along the sides there. Why they made them red and not black, I don't know, but that's what we have to deal with, I guess. Not too many stickers with this set. These are all stickers over here. Uh, these are printed, no, I take that back. These are stickers as well. So we have some operating rooms here for everybody, for all the minifigures. We have plenty of room. We have another spot over here. Some more room. We got a little table build. We have a table build here. We have some seating around the table. We do have a little elevator that can go up. And on the box, it shows Snoke standing up here, right here. And then we also have this hologram piece. And we get this hologram piece that comes with the set. I do not know who that's supposed to be or what it's supposed to represent. On the back of the box, it shows Snoke standing up there on the top ledge looking at this. So I don't know if that's... A, it's usually that's somebody that you're communicating with. So take a guess as to who or what you think that is. Because Snoke definitely doesn't have a cape. And it's definitely some kind of a figure in a cape and a hood. So I guess we'll have to wait and see who that is. There's plenty of room for our minifigures. Have a nice little, these are our stickers, but we have a nice walkway here. Some seating, more computers down here. There's another workstation. Then we have the other workstation over here and there's a couple spots right there for the guy's guns. And that's right there where they show Snoke standing talking to the hologram but that's the inside so I mean there is room here for all the minifigures you get and there's room for some extra ones if you have some extra stormtroopers which we do because they all come with stormtroopers all of these sets pretty much so we do have we have room for them and we have room for extra officers if need be but in general on the inside it's not that bad my problem kind of comes with the outside here's the outside obviously again of our ship but my real problem comes with right here, these stud shooters. These stud shooters, I thought you could turn them, but they're stationary. That you can't move them, you can't adjust them, you can't elevate them, you can't do anything with them. And that to me is kind of, it's just kind of boring. We, does not, this is the only build that doesn't come with m missile launchers. So you can't fire anything out the front, and you can only shoot to the side and kind of down. So that's kind of a, in my opinion, a bad play feature. You, what can you do with that? You got them on this side as well, right here. So all in all, you have eight of these things, but what can you do with them? I mean, as you can see, they're pointing downwards. Unless you're going to be shooting at some minifigures, but that doesn't really make any sense in the sense of it's a starship. What do you do with that? You don't. They're not. It's not on the ground shooting at people. 
so I'm a little disappointed there. The other detail work on the outside, I do like the antenna dish that we have. That's a nice little piece, aesthetically speaking. Here's the back of the shuttle. As you can see, we've got some pretty big engines, three of them and eight small thrusters. That's pretty much our shuttle, guys. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's, it's big. It's nice, but it's not exactly what I was thinking it was going to be. All right, so let's get into our final verdict. All right, guys, so in conclusion, is this set worth the money? No, I don't think so. Not for $159. I mean, you, you get five minifigures. You do get Snoke. And you get the pilot, who is, I guess, an exclusive figure with this. But the officer and the two stormtroopers, you get with other sets, other than the one being a sergeant. And that's just a shoulder cauldron. I mean, there's nothing else to it. BB-9E, you get with the much cheaper Kylo Ren ship. You know, Snoke is the standout minifigure of this whole set. But it's the same grape that I kind of had with the Heavy Walker. Snoke is this mysterious guy that we don't know anything about, but the only way to get the minifigure is to buy the most expensive set. And then we don't get any missiles. All you get are stationary cannons that shoot downwards. I, I don't know how that's supposed to work. That doesn't really make sense, at least in my mind, and I'm sure in a kid's mind who's trying to play with this. What, how do you shoot at the bomber or how do you shoot it an a-wing or an x-wing i mean unless you position it up high and it aims downwards but most kids don't don't do elevation you know it's straight on and you have there's there's nothing so i'm, I'm kind of bummed out about that kind of bummed out about the price i mean 160 dollars for 1400 pieces doesn't really compute there either you do get a lot of big pieces but boy you get a lot of little pieces a lot of little pieces so I don't really know how that all works out well I didn't have a Star Destroyer now I have one I don't know if this is what all the other Star Destroyers are like or if this is what you should consider you know as the the pinnacle of their Star Destroyer design if so I, I don't really see another need to get another one all right so that's my thoughts you guys tell me down below in the comments what do you think is this a good set is this a bad set if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Like the channel overall and want to continue the Lego discussion, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.